a lot of you guys have been commenting down below in the comment section about none other than my hair so I thought I would come and bring you guys a quick hair review um so let's go ahead and get into the specs of this hair shall we so I've been wearing this hair for roughly about two months now um, so I think I have a pretty good idea of how this hair holds up so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what I think about it so this hair is from Nadula hair company here on um, YouTube you can find a whole bunch of reviews on a lot of different textures that they have um, I'll have the specs of my hair and the texture in the description box so to Aliexpress but they also have a link on Amazon so I'll link both of those down below in the description box so you guys can take a look at that as well of the length and texture of this hair so um, I've been enjoying this hair it has a loose wave pattern uh, to it um, but I prefer to wear it, you know, in this uh, curled state, so either with flexi rods or a curling wand. I will say that this hair does not hold a curl um, as long as I'm used to, like my Brazilian hair holding a curl. Like I can put curls with a curling wand or a flexi rod in my hair and it'll probably last me the week. Um, this will probably last you like three days when you put curls into it. Um, so still good, get some wear to it and then you'll start to get some waves um, after that. So it just kind of depends on what you like and what texture. Uh, this hair works way better with heat than it does non-heat styles, um, particularly after you wash it. I have found that when I wash it, I'll have the need to put heat to it because I just don't like um, the way that it moves um, when I let it air dry. But that's just a personal preference. Uh, I still really like the hair. It looks really pretty. Um, yeah, I am wearing a frontal, but I guess I don't use my frontal very much, if that makes any sense. Like, I don't really do many different styles. I had it on a side part when I first got it installed. Um, and if I have a clip of that, I'll put that in here. Um, and then I moved it to a middle part just because the middle parts are life. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've kind of just been wearing it like this. So I haven't really had the need to uh, use the frontal very much. But I'll go ahead and get in a little closer so you guys can see the actual part. So yeah. Um, so that's that. Um, this hair, it sheds. I will not lie to you guys. This hair does shed. But I think it sheds more on me because my stylist actually cut the wefts. Like, not even just like one at the top, but like she cut like pretty much all the way through my head. She cut the tracks. Um, and this is curly hair, so I'm not surprised that it's uh, giving me shedding. But it doesn't shed like throughout the day, like when you're walking, you're not leaving a trail of hair anywhere. Nothing like that, because I've had hair like that. You don't want that. <laughs> this, um, because I cut the wefts, or because my stylist cut the wefts, um, this sheds when I brush it out in the morning. Um, and apart from that, I'm good to go. Uh, so what I use on this hair. So I use, um, when I'm in the shower, I will co-wash most of the time. So I use either the Hello Hydrations by Herbal Essences or um, Aussie's like Moist deep conditioner. I'll use that on the hair. These two really work well with the hair. Makes it feel soft and silky. Um, but you guys probably already heard of these products. It's nothing new. Um, and then I like to follow it up with a like a liquid uh, conditioner. Just so um, a liquid like leave-in conditioner when I'm out of the shower. Um, because I don't want to put anything like too heavy on the hair. Um, so I usually go do a liquid leave-in conditioner and an oil but I do have to say this um, use a heat protectant if you get this hair um, I use the Tresemme I pretty much use any type this one is a purple one it's platinum strength I used to use the red one I really don't know the difference I just know Tresemme is legit um, but use a heat protectant on this hair because if you heat style this hair you will get split ends if you do not protect your ends so um, I made the mistake of not heat protecting like for the first mm, three weeks and then just because I was lazy 
and it was an extra step and I just didn't do it. And then I noticed that I got split ends. Um, so I actually clipped my ends. Um, I probably lost an inch max when I clipped the ends. Um, it's, it didn't look bad or and it wasn't like frizzy or anything like that. I just didn't like the fact that I could look down at my hair and see split ends. Like literally you could see them, but I was just like, okay, these gotta go. And I clipped an inch off. But if you use a heat protector, like I've been using a heat protector now and I have not gotten split ends anymore. So use a heat protector. Use it. <laughs> Literally, this hair is very low maintenance because I don't have to do much to it except brush it out in the morning. And depending on what curl style I'm wearing, I can either let it do its natural thing and just brush that out. But I like more like volume. Get a comb, a wide tooth comb, because this will, literally cut your shedding of any hair that you have even my natural hair down to the minimal and you can also like use it to like tease the hair because this hair gets really big you guys i'm not gonna do it because i'm gonna have half of a head that's teased and another half that's not but you know this hair can get pretty big um i like to wear it in a more tame style so i like to flatten it down a little bit um, yeah, but so the hair is really good um, and it looks good. But this is one of those, those like uh, hair companies where you can do a lot to your hair and it'll look good, but you can also can do a little bit to your hair and it'll still look good. Like I get compliments literally when I roll out of bed and brush my hair out and go. We're like, oh my god, your hair's so pretty, and I'm like scammed them you know <laughs> like I didn't do anything to it um the one con that I will say about this hair um in addition to like the medium level of shedding that I get but like I said it's because I cut the wefts the one con is with the frontal the frontal looks good like the lace is very good like when I had it on my side part you couldn't tell me anything um but the issue that I have is like the the frontal in comparison to the other bundles so like this was a a wavy pattern but the bundles and the frontal the wave pattern didn't match so when i wear it like when i when i let it air dry the frontal dries way different than the bundles do and i didn't really like that so i tried to not um do that and if I wear it in this natural state I'll usually like have to curl the frontal a little bit in the front just to make it match um, as well as if you see like the frontal kind of sticks out because I think it's drier than the rest of the bundles the rest of the bundles are a1 but the frontal like needs a little more uh, tender love and care so I'll have to like put oil on it and put like leave-in conditioner and things like that on this on the frontal a little more than i do on the regular bundles but other than that this hair is really pretty um go ahead and show you guys how low it comes on me and like i said i cut an inch off and it's like way below my my breast line and this hair is curled so if i was to take a piece out and straighten it. Literally, that's the end of my rib cage. Well, true rib cage, rather. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's that. That's the hair. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them down below, and I'll answer them uh, as soon as possible. But yeah, the hair is really pretty, and definitely uh, you can see them. On Instagram you can check out all the other reviews because like I said there's a lot of other people that have reviews on here I know it's tough being a college student um, a post-grad student a high school student and you want to have your hair looking on fleek like like the rest of the the Instagram community or the rest of the people that you see in in um, real life but you don't want to spend the coins on it. So for me, I literally would spend hours researching hair companies to try and figure out who's the best, who's not going to give me crap hair for the cheapest amount of money, and Doula Hair, stamp of approval. Check out the other videos um, and check out their website if you guys are looking for some really good quality hair for not that uh, high of a price. So yeah, I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Wish me luck on studying because I'm literally about to get right back to that. <laughs> so yeah. Bye guys.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.